This is the private key vault. It quickly and easily commands your accounts on the Ethereum blockchain without ever connecting to the internet. The private key vault is an optically isolated air-gapped computer. There is no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth, and no near-field communication. It does not use Ethernet, nor USB, nor any type of hardwired connection to carry data in or out of the device. The Volt is used like a hardware wallet, but it works very differently. Hardware wallets must be plugged into some internet-connected device in order to function. Air-gapped wallet is a better description. The Volt has a printer on one side to print out your paper wallets. So you can make hard copies of your private keys without ever sending them to a network printer where they might be intercepted en route or retained in the printer for later collection by hackers. On the other side, there's a power button and a jack for charging the battery. On the back is a camera which is used to scan QR codes. This is one of the only two ways that information enters the vault, and this method will be most often used. On the front is a touchscreen. This can also be used to input information, but mostly the touchscreen is used to display QR codes, which is how encrypted commands are passed out of the vault to the Ethereum blockchain. That's it. No other ways in or out are exposed. Since the device does not connect to the internet in any way, there is no attack vector from the internet to your private keys. To send money to a business associate, copy their public address from an email onto your phone's clipboard. Then paste it into the search box at Etherscan.io to display a QR code representation of their public address. Then simply scan their public address into the vault from your phone and choose how much to send. Now choose how quickly you want the transaction to go through by selecting the amount you are willing to pay the miners for each computer instruction executed. That's what the gas price field is for. Next select the gas limit which is the maximum amount you are willing to pay for the entire transaction. Enter the nonce which is just the total number of outgoing transactions recorded on the blockchain from the sending account. If you don't remember how many outgoing transactions your sending account has made, you can easily count them up on Etherscan.io or at MyEtherWallet.com which will count them up for you. We're almost done. Select the private key you wish to use by choosing one of your encrypted key store files. Enter the password and press the Generate Transaction button. Finally, scan your encrypted instructions out of the vault to your phone and from the phone Pass those instructions onto the Ethereum blockchain using a free service like Etherscan.io. If the miners that process the transaction can decrypt your encrypted instructions with your public key, then they know that whoever made the instructions is in possession of the sending account's private key, even though they didn't actually see the private key. That's the magic of public-private key encryption. So that's it. Your Ether has been sent. Nobody saw your private key, and no one ever will, because the private key vault is not connected to the internet in any way. This process is called sending an offline transaction from an air-gapped computer, and this is the most secure way possible to send a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain. This is an open source project. If you would like to build your own private key vault, instructions for building this device can be found on GitHub at the URLs given below. I am looking for collaborators, but good-natured competition is also necessary to keep the Ethereum blockchain decentralized and fault-tolerant. So either way, please let me know how I can assist you. If you would like to purchase a private key vault, then please send me an email. My name is John Shearing. You can contact me at the email address shown below.